Hi, I'm Mary Beth Brangan uh, from the Ecological Options Network, resident long time of unincorporated Marin, West Marin. And I really appreciate the um, letter that was sent to the FCC. Thank you. Excellent letter. Except um, that we don't ever want the FCC to establish uh, what the last line said, which was um, standards that would allow for the placement of these small cells close to residences and businesses. Because they could do that. They already have um, standards that are thousands of times higher than what triggers a disease and cancer um, according to thousands of peer-reviewed studies. I have a, 10 pages of epidemiological studies peer-reviewed from all over the world that show that people within 1,500 feet of a macro tower experience blood abnormalities, depression, higher rates of suicide, all kinds of illnesses, and um, a higher cancer rate. I'd like to put that into the um, public record. I mean, we're, we're not making this up. Uh, our concerns are valid. And I, I do want to establish the science in the public record. I'm also um, wanting to put into the public record um, a study that was done in 2013 of those micro, uh, macro towers across the country from east to the west coast. Um, it was, they were uh, tested by an expert and the following year the Wall Street Journal did a follow-up and, and found that it still was the case that one out of 10 macro towers was way out of compliance with the already too high FCC guidelines, up to 600% in excess of those gu guidelines. Now, if we put, if we allow the millions, and the industry uses that number, millions of new antennas along the rights of way, very close to where people are uh, working, living, playing, going to school, being cared for in daycare, it would be a, a health disaster. Um, so we do not acquiesce to this, to this. We don't think it's necessary. And uh, we also are asking for what Sharon articulated, which is, um, Sharon articulated uh, what we'd like to request, which is for you to agendize this issue on the next, at the next meeting and to hire um, a telecommunications legal expert who's not associated with the industry and, um, and have a, an urgency ordinance that would protect your local control and protect our safety and health. Thanks so much. Good morning, commissioners uh, and fellow citizens. Uh, my name is James Heddle. I'm from EON, the Ecological Options Network. And I'm here this morning to speak in urgent opposition to the ongoing deployment of 5G technology in our county without informed public consent and to advocate for the establishment of a Marin County owned fiber optic network. We appreciated your letter to the FCC and totally support what you're asking for in asserting your authority. Uh, there are two vital issues here, as you acknowledged in your letter, and a democratic preemption of local elected authority and endangerment of public health and safety. However, the good news is that this profit-driven telecom scam is totally unnecessary because there is an environmentally safer, radiation-free, less expensive, more consumer-friendly, less hackable, 
more energy efficient alternative that can generate much needed income for cities and counties, municipally owned fiber optic networks. That's why hundreds of informed communities around the country are already saying no to 5G and yes to muni fiber networks that connect directly to homes and businesses. It's called fiber to the premises or fiber to the prem. Several years ago, with the leadership of the late Supervisor Charles McGlashan, this body voted to establish Marin Clean Energy, now a successful and celebrated model around the country and the world. Now you have the opportunity to lead again, this time by moving to establish an as strong as possible county regulatory structure for 5G deployment and to establish a counterpart to Marin Clean Energy, perhaps Marin Clean Fiber. This is a time for proactive pushback against an attempt in telecom coup, against the health of our families, and against your authority to do your job. Power to the people, fiber to the prem, marine clean energy now. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Katharina Sandazel. I'm from Point Ray Station. Um, we're requesting that you put on your agenda for next time an urgency ordinance on 5G. We have been asking, we've been writing to you for six months about this, and nothing's happened so far. We elected you to protect us, to respond to our concerns. I've heard from from the board, the FCC said that we can't assert local control. The FCC said we can't assert local control. Do you know who the FCC is stacked with? Can you guess? Former telecom executives and lawyers. The industry today is regulating itself. We don't want to roll over and do nothing. It's time to lead. We're asking you to lead. We're begging you to lead. Please help us. We need your help. As a mother, I have a right to protect my children and my home and determine what we're exposed to. I, too, have a cell phone. I can turn it off. I don't use it at home, actually. I put it on airplane mode or I turn it off. But I do have a cell phone and I use it, so I'm not against technology at all. And I know there are people who, who want 5G who are, or who want technology, who want this. And that's fine, but I don't think anybody wants it near their home. I don't think anybody wants it near their school, near their children's daycare. I think everyone can agree on that. What I'm nervous about is that by staying silent and by staying with the 1998, I think, agree agreements that we've had, or that you've had, the, the, I forget what they're called, um, the regulations. By staying silent, I think, we are implicitly acquiescing. We can't stay silent. We need you to insist to challenge the laws made by and for industry. Challenge these laws. This is an unprecedented time of deregulation. The Trump administration has made it much, much worse. And for us to just say, oh, well, they, that's the new law, that's you know, what we were told to do, is just giving into that. It's giving up on our democracy. To me, this is a, not only a health issue, not only a privacy issue, this is a democratic issue. And that's what makes me really angry, is the democracy being rolled over. And so we're asking you to stand up strong. The health concerns around microwave radiation are real. There are literally thousands of studies out there now. Again, I have a right to protect my children and my home. And I appreciate your help with this. Thank you so much.